You need to check out this article. Federal judge backs firing squads, guillotines for executions. And now I'm not going to go into any detail about why he says this. I mean, come on, the, the, the headline says it all right there. But I will touch on something that he says here near the end of the article. He says right here, uh, in regards to actually doing the executions, he says, if we as a society are willing to take human life, we should be able to watch it. Now, I'm going to touch on that here in a minute, but on my site, I have a page that goes into detail about the 30,000 plus guillotines in American storage. And if you want to see it, just go to remnagod.org, go down to uh, Government Gone Bad, and it's there. Or if you go to the Prophecy section, I think it's in Soon, yeah, it's in Soon Fulfilled. And you go there, and it's, uh, it's, everything's here that you need to see in regards to all that. I also did a radio broadcast that uh, somehow ended up on YouTube. I mean, if you go uh, links on articles here, there's a couple of videos that were made regarding the radio broadcast I did. But these, I didn't make those videos. Somebody else just used my broadcast to do that. So uh, I think it's been a couple, three times that they did that. But I actually posted... All the info I had on this early on when I first started the website and a friend alerted me that it appeared to be bogus and I look like a conspiracy theorist. So I pulled the info, but never deleted it so as to just verify my sources. Well, I eventually found out that my friend was wrong. So years later, when I found that out, I reposted the info about how the state of Georgia legalized the use of uh, guillotines on death row inmates. Uh, and I go into detail about that on this page here. I actually have a, uh, a uh, there it is, a copy of the actual bill that was uh, presented back in 1995. But here's the thing. There was a deceptive twist in the reasoning behind the passage of the bill that later became law that was never mentioned in the law itself. They lied to the public on two counts to gain public approval for the use of the guillotines so as to hide the Bible prophecy about Christians being beheaded for them refusing to accept the mark of the beast. And the lies were, number one, they claimed that inmates were wanting to donate their organs. They wanted to be killed by guillotine so as to prevent lethal injection or electrocution from destroying their organs. Yet, even though they passed this bill into law, not a single prisoner has ever requested the guillotine, ever. And this bill was presented in 1995. And number two, somehow a video of a man being electrocuted in Georgia was released to the public so as to cultivate an uproar and make it possible to begin talking points on the use of the guillotine in the public sector. Well, first and foremost, they never videotape executions in Georgia before that date. The videotape was made illegally by some of the prison officials and purposely put out into the public so that people could see it. And secondly, it was made apparent that the man, well, for those of us that understand how electrocution is done, it was apparent that they didn't use any water on the sponge that they put under the cap that is placed on his head to make the electric connection to his skull. They purposely failed to add that water, which means he's going to have a very violent death, and he did have a very violent death on that video for quite a while to the point where the man's head literally ignited. And no, I never posted that video on the website for obvious reasons. Then, if you recall, I did a video back in December of 2014 where it was broadcast live on primetime TV, the suggestion that pay-per-view executions could be money makers. And Judge Janine Pero didn't have a problem with it. And I only mentioned that video because of what the judge in this article said about allowing the public to watch the executions. But I don't think that would ever have been allowed to air in that courtroom of Judge Janine Pirro had it not been for the government usage of guillotines being written into the Affordable Care Act of Obama almost exactly 12 months prior. And yes, I did a video about that as well. And now we have this sexed, crazed judge right here. And, and yes, he's got a problem with bestiality. It's all over his website. He is now offering his approval for the use of the guillotine. And the only reason I can see for him to bring up the use of a firing squad is, and they've done this before. I couldn't find the article on my site, and I apologize for that. But years ago, there was someone else that stepped up and said we should uh, consider firing squads and guillotines. And the only reason they bring up the firing squad is to pull the onus off the guillotine. I mean, had he only mentioned the guillotine on its own, he would have come off to many Christians as a prophetic fulfillment in regards to the beheading connected to the mark of the beast. 
as Revelation 20 verse 4 talks about. So adding a firing squad to the mix allows them to hide the real reason for the guillotine by making it appear like any other means of execution that has been used in the past can be considered viable options for today. That all being said, I have to wonder how many Christians out there are still riding the fence on all this. Sunday laws are being pushed all over the planet. And if you want proof of that, just go to remnantofgod.org, go to the warning section, scroll down to where it says Sunday laws are coming. This page is dedicated to all the laws that are being lobbied, all the media comments, all the forward pushing on this uh, by the Vatican, especially. And um, it's just, this page is loaded with stuff. And then if that's not enough, this section here has literally hundreds and hundreds, maybe over a thousand articles, if I recall, on all these movements of the Vatican trying to get Sunday laws put forth. Okay. And so you have that. To the point, it's gotten so bad, in fact, that uh, you actually have Jews. As a matter of fact, I just did a video and an article on this right here where um, they are now keeping Sunday holy in Jerusalem, in Israel, and they have now passed laws that allows them to break the real Sabbath of God in the Scriptures in Tel Aviv. So now you have that along with the popes of Rome who have admitted more than once in writing that their mark is, in fact, Sunday Sabbath, and if you want proof, go back to RevenantGod.org, go down to uh, uh, yeah RCC Exposed, go to Words of the Beast, and then look for the word says admitting what the mark is here. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay, the first two quotes here, they actually call Sunday Sabbath their mark. And now we see more and more talk about televised executions, like that courtroom and now this judge demanding, you know, the guillotine and firing squads, but he actually just wants guillotines. And this is all being done to keep the people fearful of big government and the use of guillotines. So in other words, what I'm getting at here is you've got sunny laws being pushed all over the planet. You got the Jews keeping Sunday holy, which most people never thought would ever be possible. They thought, you know, the Sunday laws being the mark of the beast can't be true because Jews would never keep Sunday holy. But now they have been for years since since 2013, in fact. And Jews are also now breaking the real Sabbath, which everybody also thought that would never happen. They actually pass laws now to where you can break the real Sabbath. And you've got talk of televised executions and talk of the use of the guillotine, just as Revelation 20 verse 4 said they would. So why on earth do some Christians still think it's okay to continue waiting on getting your house ready to meet the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ? Well, it's because those kind of Christians are the ones that will eventually receive the mark of the beast. And they're the ones that prophecy speaks of as weeping. When the weeping and gnashing of teeth happens, they're the ones that are going to be weeping. So the prayer of this ministry is, and this entire church family, is that everyone that hears this truth that has gone forth in these last days, this present truth about the coming of the Lord and the soon enforcement of the mark, we pray that you actually start opening up your Bibles and get ready. Thank you for watching. God bless.